Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing the recipe of the fish taco. I'm going to start by, by saying all the ingredients I'm going to be using for today. It's a lot, but I'm going to describe uh, all the ingredients. Uh, over here I have one cup and a half of flour, which is this one. Uh, but you can use any choice you want of flour. Over here I have one pound of fish uh, and I use tilapia. This one is the kind that I use and it comes in this pieces, uh, but I cut them in pieces and a taco size. And I'm gonna be using vegetable oil to fry my fish. And over here for the mixer, I'm gonna be using a uh, one beer, it's 12 ounces. Right here I'm using Modelo for today, but it's your choice what kind of beer you wanna use. That's the one I have today right here, so I'm going to use it today. And I have over here a half a cup of water in case I need it for the mixer too. Uh, if I don't have enough with the beer, I can always mix water. Over here, I'm going to be using two tablespoons of the spices. You probably see it a lot. It's a uh, Cajun. Um, I don't know if you pronounce it like that. Uh, over here I have one tablespoon of black pepper too. And I have one tablespoon of um, salt and one tablespoon of baking soda. So I'm gonna be using all this over here in my mixer and I have it over here. And right now I'm gonna describe um, the ingredients that I'm gonna be using in my, uh, in my salsas. Over here for my pico de gallo, uh, I'm going to be using a uh, mango. I'm going to be using one mango like this. This one is the kind that I use and I just cut it in little pieces. Over here I have a half of uh, a red onion, like in the medium size. Uh, I just use half and I cut it in, in little pieces too. Over here I got three lemons, it's one big and the other ones are smaller. And I have one bunch of uh, cilantro over here. And over here for my, um, for my heat, <laughs> I have the chile piquin, uh, and I use like around six, and I cut it in real small pieces. Uh, but you can use jalapeno if you want, or you can use chile serrano, uh, any, any kind of, chili that you want that it's real spicy you can use it it's on your taste um so i'm gonna tell you the ingredients that i use for the creamy sauce and they're right here um over here i use one cup of sour cream this one is the one that i use but it's your choice and over here i have one third of a cup of mayo that I'm gonna be using for this um, sauce. And this one is the kind that I use, I like it. Uh, but you can use just uh, the American one if you want to. And I have one, uh, one uh, tablespoon of salt. And I have uh, the chipotle sauce over here. This one is like one third, okay? But it's your choice too. And over here for our filling, I have uh, the cabbage, the purple cabbage, but you can use the other one too, the yellow one. And I have uh, the red onion. It's the other half of the onion that I cut over there in pieces. And I have one lemon and I have um, one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so we're gonna start. So I'm gonna start right now by mixing my cabbage together with my onion and my lemon. I have it over here. I'm gonna put the, the salt over here on my cabbage, mix it over here very well. Put the onion over here. This is gonna be the filling for the taco. We mix it real good so you can get all the salt. And now we're gonna put the lemon, oops. It jump, it jump. It jump on the table with this. 
so I'm gonna use this so I can get all the juice of the lemon and we put in the lemon and the cabbage so maybe people doesn't have to use any more lemon but we always put lemon on the side of the tacos because a lot of people likes to put in lemon to their tacos so I just mix it over here you see how pretty the color is and it's changing more to more red because of the lemon so we mix it over here real good that's right there so that's gonna be our filling for tacos so now I'm gonna be making the I'm gonna be mixing the mango over here together with the onion so we're gonna put the onion over here this is our pico de gallo but it's made of mango not tomatoes and this is re a real real good pico de gallo so this is mango and onion now I'm gonna put the the spicy over here the spice spice the hot pepper over here okay this is chile piquin but like I tell you you can use jalapeno or you can use chile serrano that's a real good heat too you see how it's looking colorful it's looking real nice okay so now we're gonna put the lemon over here and I have this so I can put my lemons here this one has more lemon so it's like more sour because it has more juice right here let's see so a little more okay now i do the other lemons here Ooh, this one's they don't have a lot of lemon a lot of juice i mean right here so i mix it over here you see how nice it's looking over here right here now i'm gonna put the cilantro let's start with half first and see how it looks If you want more salt, you can always put more salt. This sauce is real good. Well, this pico de gallo. And more cilantro because the cilantro give a lot of flavor. But it's your choice if you want less cilantro too. I like it with a lot of cilantro. So I'm going to taste it to see if it's good from salt. Mm, real good. It is real good. For me, it's good of salt. But um, if you need to put more salt, it's your choice. So we already got this pico de gallo right here. And we got the cabbage ready for our taco, so we push it to the side. And now we're gonna do the we're gonna do the creamy sauce for the tacos. For this, we're gonna be using um, this container so I can mix all the ingredients. So we're gonna start by putting the sour cream. And remember, this is one cup of sour cream, your choice. We're going to put the, the chipotle. And this is one third of the chipotle sauce. And it comes in a can. 
you can just buy the can. And this is the mayo. This is one third too. You can put more if you want to, your choice. And the salt, the salt. And we always check on the salt. Sometimes it needs more, sometimes it needs less. So for this, I'm gonna mix it real good. You can do it with a mixer too, but I'm just gonna do it here so you can see how it's gonna look. Let me try it to see how it tastes, if it needs more salt. Mm. It is real good. So we mix it real good. And it's looking like this. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in a little container so we can have it ready for our tacos. In this a little bit. And I'm gonna put it over here for our tacos. didn't fit it come out more just like that okay so I'm gonna put it to the side and we're gonna start doing the mixer for for our fish so we can start frying our fish so far we already got all the sauce that we, we needed for the tacos this one is the cabbage, this one is the creamy sauce, and this one is the, the mango pico de gallo. You can always put more mango if you want some, some more. So we got our three uh, things that we're going to be using in the taco. Okay, we're going to start mixing our flour. So I'm going to put the ingredients that I already told you over here. Pepper, salt, baking soda, and uh, Cajun, okay? So we're going to put it over here and we're going to open the beer. If I can open it, uh, where is, uh, can open it right here. Okay. Just can't open it like that. I'm not that strong. So I have the beer right here, and we're gonna be putting the beer right here on the flour and start mixing. Mixing and tasting. <laughs> you see how it's looking with the beer? gonna need more so I put the whole beer in there and let's see
you keep on mixing it, it's going to be looking like this. It smells like beer. Oh, I was forgetting too. It, it, it takes only one egg too. I was forgetting the egg. Let me get it. I didn't put it in the ingredients, but remember in the mixture, you put one egg. So we throw it in there and keep on mixing. This is the mixer we're going to get. Do you see? It's like a, a, like a mixer like for pancakes or for, yeah, like for pancakes. It's almost like uh, the flour for pan pancakes. Just want to spoon so I can show you how thick it looks. You see how thick it looks? And at this point, I didn't use the water, so it was enough with uh, with the beer. But uh, you always, you know, if you don't have enough with the uh, beer, you can always use the water too. But at this point, I didn't use it. It was it was good enough one beer for me. So we're gonna start frying the fish, and let me start by putting the oil in the pan. Okay, I'm going to start putting the oil over here, enough for f enough oil so you can be frying. There you go, enough for frying our fish. So we let it warm, it warm up and then we start frying our fish. I already have a plate over here ready if you can see it uh, so that way I can be putting my fish over here and it can be dripping all the extra oil that we get in the in the frying and the frying fish okay I think the the oil is ready to to start frying our fish first of all I take piece by piece and dip it in the flour like this you can see I dip it in the flour and put it oh still needs to warm up more it's not ready yet give it a little time more okay I think our oil is ready I already did a little piece but uh, this is the mixer if you can see it so we're gonna dump a little piece like this and put it in in the oil and we're gonna do all the pieces like that there you go and they're a good size for tacos they fit in a taco real good and put a lot of them and we wait until they're golden brown Finish all the pieces and be careful with the oil because it's hot. 
So you have to be real careful or else you bring yourself. You know, wash, always wash your hands real good before you start cooking. There you go. Like this. Oh, this is too hard to use. Let me find another easier one to use. This one is more easy to use. And turn our fish. If you see, they're starting to be golden brown. The little pieces. This ones are done. Put them in here. If you don't have this, you can also put, you know, like uh, paper towels. Sometimes I use paper towels. So that way you can absorb all the, all the oil. We clean our oil. And put more. And we keep on going like this, okay, until we finish all our fish, until we're cooking, finish cooking all our fish for our tacos. And these tacos are real good. They're easy to make. It's just that they have so many ingredients. But um, if you just want to make them with a basic um, salsa, it's up to you. Um, but they're real good, like this with all the sauce that I make for it. That's how my family like them. And they love this taco fish. Wash my hands, took enough all the flour from, from my hands. And everybody make um, the recipe differently. Uh, I learned how to make it like this. And uh, I like them. But a lot of people have their different recipes. And we can always watch videos and keep them improving our recipes too. this over here cooking let me get another plate so I can be putting all my fish in there I'm gonna put them up to the side the ones that we already finished. That way we can put the, the new ones over here. There you go. You see how it's changing the color beautifully, real brown. It's like golden brown. And we take this one's out, so 
it doesn't burn and and smell the whole house. They're real easy to make and real delicious. Let's see. Okay, so this one's, they're done. So we're going to put another bunch in there. Be careful with the oil because like I tell you, it's hot. And sometimes it jumps. So be real, real careful when you're frying things. Put it right there, right there, right there. So we can do more. There you go. We have them right there. So we're going to put more in there. I think it's going to be the last ones. And we're going to have them for dinner today. Every time you're frying something, be real careful. Because um, when we fry things, it's real dangerous. We don't want to burn ourselves. There you go. I always say safety first. If you have a, a, a bigger pan that you can fry your, your things, it's better. There you go. Okay. Keep on frying in there. Um, if you can make the tortillas, you can always use the ones that you buy in the store. You can buy them in the Mexican store. The ones of the package. They got yellow ones and they got the white ones. You can always buy them or you can always make them. I probably want to make a couple right now so you can see the tacos the way they look. And then... Uh, There you go. Separate them. Separate the fish. Because they're sticking to each other. Right there, right there. You see? Those are going to be ready too. So we move this one out of the way. It's to the side. And now I'm going to put the comal over here so you can start heating up. Oops. There's my comal. I was warming it up. And I'm going to warm up a tortilla. This is the kind that I use to find the material in any other store. But um, if you want to make them too, it's up to you. So we're going to warm up the tortilla. And then we're going to start doing our taco. So I'm still warming up tortillas over here for tacos. But I'm going to be making uh, a couple of tortillas. That way you see that um, how it looks when, when the tortillas are fresh and, uh, and when they're from the store, you know. But they're still good. They still taste real good, okay. Uh, but like I tell you, if you don't know how to make tortillas, you just buy the tortillas in Jewel. You find them in Jewel and you find them in the Mexican stores. They got yellow tortillas and they got white tortillas. So it's your choice. So I'm going to show you a couple of tacos um, with uh, the tortillas I buy in the store, okay? And then I show you some with the tortillas that I make at home, okay?